serves me must follow me. And where I am, there also will my servant be. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. How good it is today to be together, despite the weather, here to do this beautiful ordination. Let us continue our celebration, calling to mind our sins, asking God for his mercy.
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Gloria in excelsis Deo, et in terra pax hominibus, bone voluntatis, laudamus te, benedicimus te, O oh God, who have taught the ministers of your church to seek not to be to ser serve, but to serve their brothers and sisters, grant, we pray, that these your servants whom you graciously choose today for the office of deacon may be effective in action, gentle in ministry, and constant in prayer. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, summon the tribe of Levi and present them to Aaron, the priest, as his assistants. They shall discharge his obligations and those of the whole community before the meeting tent by serving at the dwelling. They shall have custody of all the furnishings of the meeting tent and discharge the duties of the children of Israel in the service of the dwelling. 
You shall give the Levites to Aaron and his sons. They have been set aside from among the children of Israel as dedicated to me. The word of the Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, be serious and sober-minded so that you will be able to pray. Above all, let your love for one another be intense because love covers a multitude of sins. Be hospitable to one another without complaining. As each has received a gift, Use it to serve one another as good stewards of God's varied grace. Whoever preaches, let it be the words of God. Whoever serves, let it be with the strength that God supplies so that in all things, God may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom belong glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus summoned his disciples and said to them, You know the rulers of the Gentiles lowered over them, and the great ones make their authority over them felt. But it shall not be so among you. Rather, whoever wishes to be great among you shall be your servant. Whoever wishes to be first among you shall be your slave. Just so the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let those who have been ordained deacons come forward. Nathan Crystal Maroni. Magoni. Jonas Neil Verderfor. Ligon Cross Throat. Most Reverend Father, Holy Mother Church asks you to ordain these men, our brothers, to the responsibility of the diaconate. Do you know them to be worthy? After inquiry among the Christian people and upon the recommendation of those concerned with their formation, I testify that they have been found worthy. Relying on the help of the Lord God and of our Savior Jesus Christ, we choose thee, these, our brothers, for the order of the academy. Thanks be to God. Here we go. Reading the rite in preparation for this ordination, it says that the ordination should be with as many of the faithful as possible. I think we have accomplished that. <laughs> Considering all this going outside today, but perhaps the post office pseudo motto is more fitting. Neither snow nor rain nor heat nor gloom of night stays these deacons from the swift completion of their appointed rounds. Well, brothers, very soon to be deacons, nothing should keep you from serving God. God asks us to serve, and we need to let no obstacle come in our way. 
The readings picked today all speak about service. It's why the seven original deacons were picked to serve. And the very word of deacon comes from diakonos, which is servant. St. Francis is a pretty good model of a deacon. St. Lawrence of Rome, another pretty good model of a deacon. St. Ephraim, many others. What they have in con co common is that they lived courageous lives with humility, service, piety, strength. They all faced obstacles. Look at St. Lawrence of Rome. Lots of obstacles. Maybe no snow, but lots of obstacles. And you will as well. I, like all priests, am a deacon. And as a deacon, I am continually called to service. And I have, could not have possibly understood or comprehended the day I was ordained a deacon, all the strange obstacles that come in my way, all the people that Unwilling, unwittingly tried to snuff out my vocation. But being loyal, being faithful, thank God I've been able to change and, and overcome any obstacle so far. And God will strengthen you Pick up your cross. Pick up your cross to serve the God who, as Matthew just told us, gave his life as a ransom. So like the postmen and women, you serve no matter what comes your way. Today you also begin other new relationships. You have a new relationship with the word today, with the gospel today, with the readings today, with the Bible today. It's a new relationship. From now on, you not only read and pray and reflect on the word, you proclaim the gospel and you preach the fruits of your prayer. The ability to touch people's hearts when you preach, I'm convinced, comes with the grace of orders. Listen to the Holy Spirit before you preach. Listen to the Holy Spirit even as you are preaching. Listen for the fruits of the Holy Spirit after you preach. And soon you will discover, if you do that, you will see how God uses your simple words to touch their complex lives and hearts. Don't try to force any particular theological or concept by explaining it to the full. Textbooks are for that. No, your courses were for that. Let them read Rahner if they want to. I don't want to. <laughs> A well-chosen insight into the readings, illustrated and explained, and left just to sit with them, with the Holy Spirit taking it in new and unbelievable ways from your mouth to their ears is all you have to do. Anything long and detailed often strays them into other things. Ask yourself, 
did I preach Jesus Christ? If you preach Jesus Christ, you've preached the gospel. And then sit down. When you serve at the altar, or when you baptize, preside at graveside, do other liturgical things as deacons, always try to do it well. The rituals we use at Mass are all perfectly fine without anyone's special touch. What an incredible example of doing things right and with piety and devotion that your, bro your brother oblates demonstrate every day. They are known for their reverence and their fidelity. Extra flares are not needed. You're also taking on a life of celibacy today in a different way with your vows. I was checking into the, a hospital the other day just for regular thing. And the man behind the counter, you know, does doing his thing, tapping my name into the, into the, whatever the computer, and he says, are you a priest? I get that a lot. I think people assume that I woke up that day and decided to wear clerical attire. <laughs> I said, yes, I'm a priest. He said, I don't get that celibacy thing. I really don't. I said, are you married? He said he was. I said I was uh, sure that being married to the same woman for the rest of your life also has its challenges. He said, you got that right. <laughs> then he asked for my insurance card. All of our lives are in support of families. All of our ministries, no matter what we do in the church, should be in support of families. But whatever God calls us to do, whatever calling to the diaconate, to the priesthood, to married life, to the single life, to, to uh, religious life, to the third order life, all of, our, all of those are challenging. All of them, done well, lead to peace. Peace is not, everything's great and I live in harmony. Peace is in the ups and downs of life and ministry. We know we're in the right place and that we're with God. So, be in peace. My brothers, feel confident today. Feel confident. I have the great privilege of ordaining you. It is a beautiful life. And it is a happy life. If you just trust God. Trust that your fellow oblates will be with you. In this wonderful community. Trust that the Holy Spirit will fill your heart and show you the path. Whatever obstacles come in your way, be at peace. You have everything you need.
Dear sons, before you proceed to the order of the diaconate, you must declare before the people your resolve to undertake this office. Do you resolve to be consecrated for the ministry of the church through the laying on of my hands and the gift of the Holy Spirit? I do. Do you resolve to discharge with humble charity the office of the diaconate so as to assist the priestly order and to benefit the Christian people. I do. Do you resolve to hold fast to the mystery of the faith with a clear conscience, as the Apostle says, and to proclaim this faith by word and deed according to the Gospel and the Church's tradition? Those of you who are prepared to embrace the celibate state, do you resolve to keep the commitment perpetually as a sign of the dedication of your life to Christ the Lord for the sake of the kingdom of heaven in service to God and others? I do. Do all of you resolve to guard and increase the spirit of prayer proper to your way of life, and in keeping with this spirit and the circumstances of your life, to celebrate faithfully the liturgy of the hours with and for the people of God and indeed for the whole world. I do. Do you resolve to conform your manner of life always to the example of Christ, whose body and blood you will handle at the altar? I do, with the help of God. Do you promise respect and obedience to the diocesan bishop and to your legitimate superior? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to the diocesan bishop and to your legitimate superior? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to the diocesan bishop and to your immediate superior? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Let us pray, dearly beloved, that God, the Almighty Father, will in his mercy pour out the grace of his blessing on the, these his servants, whom he is pleased to receive into the sacred order of the diaconate. Let us kneel. St. Paul, pray for us. St. Andrew, pray for us. St. John, pray for us. St. Mary Magdalene, pray for us. St. Stephen, pray for us. 
Saint Philip the Deacon, pray for us. Saint Ignatius of Antioch, pray for us. Saint Lawrence, pray for us. Saint Vincent, pray for us. Saint Maximilian Kolbe, pray for us. Saints Felicity and Saint Perpetua, pray for us. Saint Agnes, pray for us. Saint Gregory, pray for us. Saint Augustine, pray for us. Saint Athanasius, pray for us. Saint Basil, pray for us. Saint Ephraim, pray for us. Saint Martin, pray for us. Saint Benedict, pray for us. Saint Francis, pray for us. Saint Dominic, pray for us. Saint Ignatius of Loyola, pray for us. Saint Francis Xavier, pray for us. Saint John Vianney, pray for us. Saint Catherine of Siena, pray for us. Saint Teresa of Jesus, pray for us. All holy men and women, saints of God, pray for us. Lord, be merciful. Lord, deliver us, we pray. From all evil, Lord, deliver us, we pray. From every sin, Lord, deliver us, we pray. From everlasting death, Lord, deliver us, we pray. By your incarnation, Lord, deliver us, we pray. By your death and resurrection, Lord, deliver us, we pray. By the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, Lord, deliver us, we pray. Be merciful to us sinners, Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Govern and protect your holy church. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Keep the Pope and all the ordained in faithful service to your church. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Bless these chosen men. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Bless and sanctify these chosen men. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Bless, sanctify, and consecrate these chosen men. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Bring all peoples together in peace and true harmony. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Comfort all the troubled and afflicted with your mercy. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Strengthen us and keep us in your holy service. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Jesus, Son of the living God, Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Christ, hear us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Oh. 
Lord God, mercifully hear our prayers and kindly accompany with your help what we are about to do by virtue of our office. Sanctify with your blessing those whom in our judgment we believe are worthy to be offered for the exercise of sacred ministries through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us stand. Draw near, we pray, Almighty God, giver of every grace, who apportion every order and assign every office. While remaining unchanged, you make all things new, and setting all things in order with everlasting providence, you make due provision for every age through your word, your power, and your wisdom, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. You grant that your church, his body adorned with manifold heavenly graces, drawn together in the diversity of her members, and united by a wondrous bond to the Holy Spirit, should grow and spread forth to build up a new temple. As once you chose the sons of Levi to minister in the former tabernacle, so now you establish three ranks of ministers in their sacred offices to serve your name. Thus, in the first days of your church, your sons, apostles, led by the Holy Spirit, appointed seven men of good repute to help them in the daily ministry, that they might devote themselves more fully to prayer and the preaching of the word. By prayer and the laying on of hands, they entrusted to those chosen men the ministry of serving at table. Look favorably also on these, your servants, we pray, O Lord, whom we humbly dedicate to serve at your holy altars in the office of the diaconate. Send forth the Holy Spirit upon them, O Lord, we pray, that they may be strengthened by the gift of your sevenfold grace to carry out faithfully the work of the ministry. May every evangelical virtue abound in them, unfeigned love, concern for the sick and the poor, unassuming authority, the purity of innocence, and the observance of spiritual discipline. May your precepts shine forth in their conduct that by the example of their manner of life, they may inspire the imitation of your holy people. In offering the witness of good conscience, may they remain firm and steadfast in Christ, so that imitating your Son on earth, who came not to be served, but to serve, they may be found worthy to reign with him in heaven, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever.
Receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Peace be with you. Receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Peace be with you. Receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. yet born of Mary, as of old on earth he stood, Lord of lords in human vesture, in the body and the blood, he will give to
Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Holy Father, whose Son chose to wash the disciples' feet, and so set as an example, accept, we pray, the oblations of our service, and grant that offering ourselves as a spiritual sacrifice we may be filled with the spirit of humility and zeal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, you made your only begotten Son, High Priest of the new and eternal covenant. And by your wondrous design, you were pleased to decree that many ministries be exercised in the church. For Christ not only adorns with the royal priesthood the people he has made his own, but with the brother's kindness, he also chooses men to become sharers in his divine ministry through the laying on of hands. He chooses them to lead your holy people in charity, to nourish them with the word and strengthen them with the sacraments. As they give up their lives for you and for the salvation of their brothers and sisters, they strive to be conformed to the image of Christ himself and offer you a constant witness of faith and love. And so with the Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Abaot, Plenis Uncei et Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus, qui venit You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. So through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather people to yourself, so from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, your blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. A mystery of faith. Your 
Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Mother of God with blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession and in your presence we rely for unfailing. May these sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis of Hope and Sean R. Bishop, with the order of bishops. These your servants whom, who have been ordained today as ministers for the church, all the clergy and entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Amen. 
cuius latus perfornatum fluxit aqua et sanguine. Est o nobis pregustatum mortis in examine. O Iesu, dulcis, O Iesu, Grant, O Lord, to your ser servant, whom you have replenished with the heavenly food and drink, that for the sake of your glory and the salvation of believers, they may be found faithful as ministers of the gospel of the sacraments and of charity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Thanks be to God. <laughs> thank you very much, Bishop O'Connell. Uh, thank you to all of our, our brothers. Um, thank you, family members, for being present, um, for all of you who made this possible. Um, thank you for coming, all of you who braved the weather <laughs> to come out. Um, thank you, all of you who couldn't be here today, who joined us remotely or in prayer. Uh, thank you so much for your support and your love, and please continue to pray for us. Thank you. Okay. We stand for the blessing. May God, who has called you to the service of others in his church, give you great zeal for all, especially the afflicted and the poor. Amen. May he who has entrusted you with the preaching of the gospel of Christ help you as you live according to his word to be its sincere and fervent witness. Amen. May he who has appointed you as steward of his mysteries make you an imitator of his son, Jesus Christ, and a minister of unity and peace in the world. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Sure. 
Try. 